Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I truly appreciate you joining me. I hope everyone's having a great day. I have completed a journal. This one was a special order and it is faith related. This journal is one that the signatures are attached with elastic. So I'm really excited to show you what I've done inside. So let's get started. Here's the faith journal that a friend of mine ordered for her sister. So I'll start by showing you the beaded pen I completed. Um, it has the colors that are in the journal, which is burgundy and green, and then um, and gold. And then the little charm says pray. So there's the pen. And the barrel of the pen and the very cap of the pen is brown. All right, for this journal, it is a soft cover journal, and uh, I didn't put matte board between the front and inside cover, so it's a soft cover. Um, I am using the faux leather that I recently purchased uh, from Hobby Lobby, and then the spine is this material that I have. It's more of a like a, a jean material, and it's brown, and then. Here's some ribbon that I used to trim that edge, and this is the ribbon that I used throughout the journal um, for like the tuck spots and the pockets and stuff like that. Um, this journal is, um, it isn't a cinch journal, it's a journal that uh, you put the uh, signatures in with elastic. Jack is the one that uh, drilled the holes and then put the eyelets in for me there and then he also uh, put the corners on the corner pieces on all four corners and then the closure is that uh, same ribbon and what I did is I glued it between the front and inside cover so that is how I um, added the closure the embellishment on the front uh, this is a stamp that I have, and I stamped it in brown onto uh, off-white cardstock, and then behind it, framing it, is um, thick cardstock that a, a brown cardstock that's glittered. So that's that there, and then this piece here, I typed out "Pray Without Ceasing" on the computer, then just kind of gave it a torn look, and then distressed the edges. And then I backed it with this wallpaper that is burgundy and green. And then peeking out is some gold cardstock. So this uh, design here was inspired by a friend. And I'll show you her card front. And I included it in this journal. So that is the cover. The back cover is uh, plain. It's just the faux leather, the ribbon like that. All right. Uh, let's let me show you what I did inside. For this inside pocket, well, first of all, the inside of the journal is this wallpaper that is, has the same colors in the journal, the burgundy and the green and the off white. So this is wallpaper. This is some more of that cardstock I used on the front cover. And here is uh, a, a piece of the faux leather that was an off cut from the cover. And uh, so I created that pocket. This is a doily. And on top of this gold pretty doily, um, I added this sticker. And it says something about praying. And then I added uh, butterflies. I have a punch that I punched out these gold butterflies. I also added those on the front I forgot to mention. And in the pocket, I added this card that I got from Dollar Tree in a pack of six or eight. It has gold foiling on it. And I thought my friend might want to write uh, a little something for her sister. It is blank inside. So that goes right in here. Here is the first signature. And I did that in a burgundy color. Um, this is wallpaper right here. 
Let me pull this out. This is wallpaper. Again, you're gonna see the same ribbon throughout the journal. Uh, this pocket is made from a um, divider for a calendar. So I used that, distressed it, stamped on it. And then all the sentiments uh, come from a, a several stamp sets that I have that are faith related. I die cut them out to look like a postage stamp. And then I added this flower that comes from Hobby Lobby. And this was gifted to me. And this was the inspiration to die cut all the sentiments like postage stamps. So this is a cute little embellishment that looks like a little postage stamp that is backed with uh, off-white cardstock. In the pocket, there is some journaling cards. It's here and here. And, oops, right in here. And then um, the pages that I created, I left a pocket and there is all the prayer cards, today's prayer, I put in all of them. In this uh, page here, I created a pocket. Again, this is wallpaper and uh, this is wallpaper. So it's all wallpaper that coordinated together. And again, the same type of embellishment. I stamped a prayer sentiment here, like a postage stamp, and then right here, these are uh, postage stamps that are made for uh, crafting, and then I backed it with off-white cardstock, and then I added some flowers. So there's that pocket. And then in the pocket, I have um, this couple of little journaling cards. And then I made this tag. Again, this is from wallpaper, and then backed with cream-colored cardstock or off-white cardstock, gold uh, twine for the tie, and then I had some stickers that I purchased from Hobby Lobby that are faith-related. They're clear, so I put them on some, uh, it's paper that comes out of a photo album, so I put it on there, tore it, so it looks torn, and then added this butterfly, a piece of ephemera, and so that's the tag that I created, and I made several of these. So that's a, a great area to journal on. And then, uh, again, this is the um, pages from that photo album, you know, the photo album where you just glue on your photos. Um, so these are off cuts from my writing pages that I'll show you. So I just fold them in half because it's a six, a 12, 12, by 12, folded it in half, stamped the praying hands right there, and then to cover the staple, I added a piece of this uh, wallpaper and then um, a seal that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And it's just like a little tablet. So that goes into this pocket here. Here are my writing pages, and all my writing pages uh, are all alike. So I stamped the praying hands here, and then up here, I had this um, stamp that's a corner stamp with a heart. I thought that looked really good. So I stamped it in red because this is the signature that's red. And I have three of those pages. Great, great area to journal on. Here's another uh, page that I created. Uh, again, this is wallpaper and wallpaper. Here's the same ribbon. Here's a... Uh, uh, a stamp that is faith related again cut it out like a postage stamp and then another little image that's backed with uh, off-white cardstock that's like a postage stamp and then a flower right there and then in the pocket I created another uh, tag from wallpaper and then cardstock on the back same twine and then uh, I believe the sentiment goes like that. They're all uh, scriptures or faith-related uh, sentiments. Goes there. And then also in the pocket is this, uh, I had these in my stash and I thought the color looked good. It's just a greeting card and it's blank inside. Great opportunity for journaling. And I just thought it looked really pretty in here. 
in the pocket another uh, today's prayer card. Right here is another uh, pocket. And again, the same thing, a scripture, a flower, and a little postage stamp. And then it's lined with the, oh, let's see. <laughs> it's lined with the uh, ribbon. And again, this is all wallpaper. And here's another um, tag I created. This is actually cardstock and then card, off-white cardstock there. Scripture and uh, a little uh, bird, I think, or butterfly. So that goes in there. And then this is a card. I got a pack of these from Hobby Lobby. They're faith-related, and they also have the gold foiling blank inside. So I added that. And then some more writing pages. Same thing as before. The praying hands here and then the uh, corner stamp up here, and I have three of those. Here is a side pocket, and same thing, I kind of kept everything kind of looking the same, just different scriptures, scripture, postage stamp, flowers, and again, the same ribbon uh, on the pocket, and then in the pocket, uh, some journaling cards. There's a large journaling card and then two small journaling cards That fit right in here and then uh, Right in the pocket is another today's prayer card Okay, here is the middle of the signature a couple of things. Here's a hidden paper clip This is one of my first hidden paper clips that I did so I got some off-white cardstock, stamped it with this stamp that that looks distressed, added this sticker, she is strong, and then added a butterfly. And that is my hidden paper clip. Now I told you that a friend uh, inspired that very front um, embellishment right here, this one here, where it's everything's kind of um, not centered, it's just off a, a little bit. A friend of mine, um, I inherited a lot of her greeting cards, and I've been using her card fronts for uh, journals. And so I backed it with uh, just some plain card stock so it could be journaled on. But this was one of her cards. Isn't that beautiful? So the inspiration was to uh, kind of design it the way she did and then have the gold peeking out. Um, here is the middle of the signature. I use this gold doily and then to clip this on I'm using my hidden paper clip. So let me see if I can, yeah, I think I can put it back in. I usually have trouble when I'm doing it upside down. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, here we go. There we go. And I really uh, enjoyed doing that hidden paper, paper clip. All right, so here's the middle of the signature. You see how this elastic is holding the signature in. Uh, the signature can be uh, removed. You just kind of slide the whole thing out. Um, so here are the elastics that are tied. Um, I added three gold beads to that just to embellish it. On this side, someone sent me this beautiful um, it's not an envelope. I'm not sure what it's called. It's just a cute, well, maybe it is an envelope, how it was done. It was so cute, so pretty and delicate. I thought it was perfect for this journal. To close it, I added a little tiny piece of Velcro and then Velcro to the back of that little butterfly to keep it closed. Inside, I just have some stationery. I put several sheets of this stationery with the flower on it, folded it in half. Like that. So um, that could be something that can be journaled on. All right, in this pocket, another uh, today's prayer card. Flip this over, here's a side pocket. Oh. That's kind of stuck in here, isn't it? There we go. Same thing. The pocket is lined with this ribbon. And um, there is a flower. There is a postage stamp. 
uh, embellishment and then here is the sentiment that is die cut like a little postage stamp so same thing um, this particular paper here is not uh, wallpaper it's some cardstock I had in my stash and this is not wallpaper either it's some cardstock I thought went pretty well in the pocket is this large journaling card and then two smaller journaling cards here's some more of the writing paper same thing the praying hands at the bottom and then at the top that uh, corner stamp and again that is uh, three of those here is a pocket um, this these two this is wallpaper up here same ribbon flower uh, embellishment and the sentiment so as I'm creating journals I really like it to look uh, cohesive so I, I use a lot of the same elements throughout the journal Here's another uh, tag that I created. This is wallpaper, cardstock, same uh, gold twine, sentiment here. It's a sticker and then I, uh, uh, you know, uh, adhered it to this same paper that is the offcuts to this, kind of uh, tore it, added a butterfly. And then another card that came out of that um, card collection from Hobby Lobby. And they're all faith related and blank inside. In this pocket, another today's prayer. And then in this corner pocket, same thing, same thing. I'm doing the same things, adding the same embellishments. Uh, a scripture here for the sentiment, a postage stamp, a little flower. Here is the same ribbon. In this pocket, another tag with a scripture on it and a butterfly. A couple of scriptures on there, I think. And then on the back, just plain cardstock to uh, journal on. And then uh, another um, greeting card that I thought the colors went well and blank inside. More writing pages, same thing, three of those. Here is a um, pocket. Again, this is wallpaper, this is cardstock, same embellishments. And then here is a card from that uh, collection from. Hobby Lobby. I really lucked out uh, finding those at the time that I did. And then another tag with the scripture and a butterfly on it. And then blank on this back side. In the pocket, another card, today's prayer. And then here is uh, the end of this signature. Here's a pocket, same embellishments and everything. Here is uh, a large pray, uh, a large <laughs> journaling card. Oops, let's see what happened here. There we go. And then two smaller journaling cards. So that is uh, the red signature or, or burgundy signature. Now here is uh, what I did with the green. Now this also is wallpaper and it came from the same book as the red. They just had the same pattern in different colors. So I thought it was perfect. So I did a lot of the same things that I did in this signature for the signature. So embellishing the pocket is a scripture die cut like a postage stamp and this was gifted to me. It's so cute. Again, that was kind of the inspiration to do this throughout the journal. And then a flower from Hobby Lobby. Oh, and there was another flower right on this side here. So I used it on uh, the front of the signature and the back of the signature on both. In the pocket, what did I do with that? 
oh, here it is. In the pocket, a large and small journaling card. There's the large and here's the small. In the pocket, more today's prayer card, but these ones are green. All right, in this pocket, more of the same. This is wallpaper and wallpaper. Uh, again, the sentiment, the embellishment, and the flower. And those flowers come from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use the whole pack throughout the whole signature. I had this in my stash and I just thought this was kind of fun to put in there. It's like she's reading her scriptures or something. So that goes in here and it's blank on the other side. Here is a small journaling card. And then here is the tag I created. And these tags for the signature are green. Here are the writing uh, pages. Same thing as I did in the previous signature, the praying hands and the corner stamp, it's the same, but I stamped it in green. So there's three of those. Here's a side pocket, same thing. Um, you know, the, sent the sentiment, the embellishment, and then the little postage stamp. And then inside is some journaling cards. I thought the coloring went well with that. It's kind of a real pale green. And then a couple of little journaling cards. In the pocket, another uh, today's prayer. On this side, there is, uh, what did I do here? Uh, oh, it's a, just, it's a pocket and a tag in here. Okay, same thing, a scripture, a flower embellishment, and a stamp. There, and then again, using that ribbon throughout the journal. Here is the tag. Again, a scripture that I um, stuck on this uh, paper and then rough cut it and then added an embellishment on the bottom. This one has a little bird, isn't that cute? Blank, so it could be journaled on that side. And then here is a card from that uh, collection from Hobby Lobby, blank inside. More of the writing pages, same thing, there's three of them. And then here is an upper corner pocket. And this is cardstock. And same embellishments. And then this is a card from that a collection I'm including in here. So cool. She's like peeking out right there. Flip it over. Here's the middle of my signature. Again, I kind of did the same thing as I did in the previous signature. Here is a hidden paper clip. Like before, here's one of my friend's cards. And if I didn't mention, I inherited her stuff when she passed away and there were a lot of greeting cards in the stash that I got. So I didn't wanna throw them out. So I saved a lot of the card fronts. And then what I'm doing is just cutting the card front off, adding um, cardstock on the back and then using them throughout the journal. I think she was a, a beautiful, beautiful card maker way back in the day. She didn't have any of the fancy tools or anything uh, that we enjoy today, but she was a card maker and she just did incredible work. So uh, I'm happy to uh, share and I'm happy to use her card fronts in journals. Uh, here's my hidden paper clip and this one says pray with a little flower and then on this side is that there? And then in the center, like both, like the other signature, I used this gold doily. So let me go ahead and clip this back in. I can clip it in quickly. Those hidden paper clips are so, so fun to make. Um, okay, the, here's the, sig uh, the middle of the signature, this gold doily, like, like in the red signature. And then the elastic, I added these gold beads for embellishment. Uh, here, I added these three uh, tiny little baggies 
and I embellished it with those same stickers that I'm using throughout the, the signature. And then I had these three sentiments that came from a faith chipboard collection from uh, Tuesday morning. And I only have three left. And I'm like, wow, how perfect is that? In the pocket, I added some playing cards. Well, that's not the playing card. Let me see if I can get the first playing card. Here's the playing card that I added. Um, I've had these in my stash, and then I just add uh, blank paper on the back to be journaled on. So there's one. And let's see, it goes in there. Here is the second one, if I can grab that. I think I'm going to put like a little uh, piece of ribbon so they can be easily removed because I'm having a hard time. Here's the other one that came with that playing card uh, collection. So those are so pretty and I thought they go, they went really well here. And then the middle pocket, I had this in my stash that I stamped out a while back. Well, see again, that's why I think I'm gonna have to add a little ribbon to, uh, as a pull. This I stamped out and had it in my stash just rounded out the corners. I didn't color it because I thought the recipient might enjoy doing that and then she can journal on the back. So there is that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a uh, little tiny ribbons, uh, probably the same ribbon that I'm using throughout the journal, just a little piece so they can, uh, the cards can be easily pulled out. Here is an upper corner. Again, same thing. Uh, the sentiment and the embellishments are the same, the ribbons the same, so uh, nothing new there. And then here's another card from that Hobby Lobby uh, pack. Uh, three more writing pages, same thing, praying hands and then the corner stamp, three of those. I like to have enough space to journal in because that's what this is, is a journal. All right, here is a pocket. And again, nothing different. The sentiment, the embellishment, the ribbon, all the same. Okay, and then in this is this journaling card. Another card from Hobby Lobby. I love that it did have the gold foiling throughout. So pretty. And then here is a tag that I created. Uh, same uh, thing, this is um, wallpaper. This, the backing of this one though, are those dividers that had the months on them. And I was showing some of the tags that I had created uh, or dividers uh, or pockets with this. And one of my sweet uh, subscribers, my dear friend Ida said, those will make good tags. And I'm like, ooh, she's right. So that's what I did for the green signature is used more of these for tags. So thank you for that suggestion, Ida. All right, in this pocket, another praying, uh, today's prayer card. Right here is a side pocket. Again, same thing, same thing. Just different scriptures, a different little flower and uh, different little postage embellishment. And then in this, one of those cards with the ladies on it and they're blank inside. I just thought those were so cool and the color was great. Three more writing pages, same thing, nothing different there. And then here is uh, my last page that I created, it's a pocket. Same thing, a scripture, flower, embellishment, a postage embellishment. Also same ribbon. And in this pocket, here is another tag. A large journaling card. And again, I made another tablet from all the off cuts from uh, cutting these pages down. Same thing as I did before, stamped the praying hands, just on the top one. And then uh, here to hide the staple, I added this wallpaper to hide the staple. And then a seal that I purchased from Dollar Tree. 
And then here is the back of the signature. Same thing as before, the uh, sentiment, the postage stamp, and the flower. Same ribbon, this is wallpaper. And then in this uh, uh, pocket, this journaling card, and then this that I put together. Um, this card was sent to me, and I'm not sure who sent it to me, but I thought this was perfect for this. I stamped this image of Christ, and then at the bottom, this uh, sticker uh, that I had from Hobby Lobby. Can you see that? Then on the back, you can journal on. So that was a good way to end that signature. Right here is wallpaper. Here's my sticker that says created by Rosemary's You Rock Art. Right here. And then I always... Um, for the end of my signatures, kind of as my signature, I die cut something or stamped something in music paper. So that's what I did. I stamped the praying hands in music paper and then carefully fussy cut all the way around and then glued it on to uh, this gold doily. So again, I used the doilies in the middle of the signatures and here and on the front. So again, keeping everything cohesive. And that is the journal. I love, love the way this turned out. Um, again, my journals are a little chunky because um, I just love to add all sorts of goodies for uh, the person receiving this to journal on. And isn't that so, so cute? I I'm really pleased the way this turned out and my friend hasn't seen it so I hope she'll be pleased and then instead of doing a tassel I went ahead and did a pen so and again the little charm says pray so there is uh, my faith related journal I hope you enjoyed the flip through of this faith journal I truly appreciate you hanging out with me for just a bit. Till next time, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.